Hi everybody, welcome back. I am doing my giveaway tutorial. I had a um, wonderful subscriber ask for a easy go-to mommy makeup application. And because I'm a mommy, I'm letting Mr. Oaksy hang out with me. He usually is in here talking to me while I'm doing my makeup or coming in and out saying someone did this or someone did that or my brother's doing blah blah blah. So this is real life. I'm a mama and this is my middle boy. The winner is Brooke Watson. Mommy, it's like this. Wah, wah, wah. So, um, congratulations, Brooke. I am, and by the time this is uploaded, have already sent your bath bombs by Coco Azalea. And if you guys haven't heard of Coco Azalea yet, you're missing out. You need to um, check her little shop out. It is so cute. So, easy go-to mommy makeup is usually rushed. I just took a five minute shower, so I'm a little blotchy and red from showering. And I try to blow dry my hair, but it's naturally curly. So one thing I do is I kind of get it somewhat dry and then I put it in braids so that at least when I take it out of the braids, it has a little bit of shape and I go about my day. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just add a little foundation. What the foundation's going to do is just even out my skin and make it less red and blotchy. Stop making weird faces. Using Face and Body by MAC, I'm just gonna use it on my hands. Can you go grab me a paper towel? Yes, I will. I apply it on the center of my face first. And then whatever's left goes on the outskirts of my skin. So most of the foundation goes on the center and whatever's left goes on the outskirts of the skin. I'm actually not going to be using any brushes in this tutorial at all. I did fill in my eyebrows a little bit off camera because I have none, but if you um, have eyebrows, I'm going to show you what you can do um, just to quickly make them a statement. So I'm going to wipe my hands on this little tissue really quick. I usually have a washcloth or paper towel or something right next to me while I'm putting my makeup on so I can quickly just um, wipe my hands off in between colors because a lot of times I truly just apply everything with my hands. So next is concealer. I'm using a really creamy concealer. Um, one that um, I don't really have to mess with too much and I'm going to apply a little bit underneath my eyes because I'm a mama and I don't sleep that much <laughs> and a little bit around my mouth and chin because I'm a woman and I have some things going on this week, so my skin is being irritated, and a little bit around my nose. Concealer is done. Oh, thank you. Do you look okay? Yes. Okay. Um, okay, I'm using this cream compact. It has a blush, a highlight. This is um, maybe a contour color or eyeshadow color and another cream eyeshadow color. I like using cream products on my skin because my skin's dry, but even if you have oily skin, it's totally cool to use cream products. Just avoid using them down the center of your face and keep them on um, your cheeks and your cheekbones and um, your eyelid, eyelid and anywhere, you know, where it doesn't get super oily. So the first thing I'm going to do is apply a little bit of highlighter. And this is a cream highlighter. And highlighter goes to the tops of the cheek, above the brow. Just to like add a little bit of dewy ambiance to the skin so that you look awake and happy, and because my skin is dry, I can use cream products down my nose. It doesn't bother me. If you feel like your skin is more oily, then use a powder as opposed to a cream. I do have a powder, and I'm going to layer that, only because as a mama, most of the time, I do look a little bit more tired than I look awake. So I'm going to use another 
um, highlighting color. I'm going to mix those two together and place it right over the top of that cream. And most days, this is pretty much what I do. Just add a little bit of highlight and dewiness to my skin. And I don't even wear mascara, I just put lip gloss on. And I look like healthy and glowy and dewy and fresh. And that's what most moms want every day. Wow. They want to look fresh, right? What do you think? Do, do, does it look good? Okay, I'm gonna t continue with the cream and I'm just gonna use this light brown shade and put some on my eyelid just so I have a smudged in color close to my lash line. And if you have green eyes, blue eyes, brown eyes, hazel eyes, a warm brown color is going to look really pretty on your eyes. So pretty much good for any eye color. Um, smudging a little bit underneath. Still not using any brushes, just smudging so that it looks like I have a little ambiance around my eye. Then I'm gonna take the blush color and this is one thing that I think everyone needs. Even though I'm a little red and blotchy, usually the pads of my cheeks aren't super pink. Um, so I feel like most mamas need a little blush. I keep the cream on one finger and a clean finger, and then I just go back and forth and kind of push it and stipple it into the skin. So these two fingers are clean, and the middle one is the one that has a little bit of blush on it and I press it right on the apple of the cheek. I'm okay, I don't need a tissue right now. Oh, you need to go potty? Yes. Okay, see you in a minute. Me too, I'll see you in a minute. See you in a minute. Okay, so the other thing I'm going to do is use this pink color and a little bit of the brown color and actually mix them together on my lips all cream products are basically made out of the same ingredients, so you don't necessarily need to get out a lipstick. And my lips are so incredibly dry. The only thing I'm going to add to that is just a little bit of lip liner, only because I really want this to kind of stay on most of the day so I don't have to deal with it that much. And a lip liner will do that. I'm using Whirl Lip Liner. It's a good medium pinky brown tone. And I'm not even going to look in a mirror. I'm just looking in the camera, following my lip line, and then immediately just smudging it out. Just so that I have a little bit of definition. And if you're like me and you have really thin lips, adding a little lip liner just adds a little bit more um, volume to your lip. And that way when random people stop at your house and knock on the door, you can look like you just woke up like this. Um, this is some brow gel. It's called More Brows. Um, Elf makes a really good one at Walmart, um, as does lots of other brands. So, you know, find one that suits you, your hair color. This is a really light, um, taupe-ish tan color. It's not very dark. And I'm just gonna push it through my brows. Now again, off camera, I did fill in some color in my brows because I don't have any. So if you feel like you need a little bit of brows, I do have a detailed brow tutorial and I will put it in the down bar so you can see exactly how I do my brows. I didn't do the full tutorial on my eyebrows today. I just whipped a little bit of color through them and now I'm just accentuating a little bit with some brow gel just to make sure it looks like I'm not an alien and I actually have eyebrows connected to my face. Last but not least, waterproof mascara. Every mom needs some mascara in their life, so lots and lots of waterproof mascara. One trick about putting on mascara is to blink into the wand and then wiggle it back and forth when it's really close to your eyeball at the base of the lash, 
and then wiggle it as you're going outwards. It's gonna create a lot of width, make your lashes a little fuller and wider. Yeah. Mom? Yeah. That, that would look good. You think that would look so good? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna try it. Okay, like I said, we're gonna blink, wiggle, 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 and pull. And I'm using a waterproof mascara because I'm a mom and people throw things at me. I cry. Sometimes I sneeze. Sometimes I stub my toe on Legos and toys and such. I, I sometimes leave toys in her room. Did you hear that? We got that on camera. Yes, we do. Sometimes he leaves toys in my room. Lots of mascara. So, as you can see, wiggling it back and forth gives you really full, big, big eyelashes. Mom. Do I look like a different person? No. Do I look awake and happy? Yes. Less grumpy? Yeah. And didn't you know, I'm wearing Christmas colors. Okay guys, there is the mascara done. One last little thing I'm going to do, I'm gonna take a little bit of the cream highlight color woo, and, woo. Woo, woo, and I'm going to place it on the tear duct. That's gonna create a nice light reflecting quality to the eye. So if you do have a young baby and you're not sleeping or you have a six year old that likes to sometimes come in your bed, well then you can look a little bit more awake and alert by just placing a light iridescent color right on the tear duct. I am six. He's six. Mm -hmm. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Bye bye.